Welcome to part 5 of the Allen and Heath and Audinate presentation of the M. Dante for iLive card. In this section, we'll show you the software that you'll need to configure a network of Dante devices, Dante Controller. Thanks again. In this section, I will tell you about the Dante software you'll need and about AVB and its relationship to Dante. There are two pieces of Dante software you'll need on your computers in order to use your M. Dante card with iLive. The first is Dante Controller, which is used to configure your Dante network. Here you set audio routes, adjust clock settings, and apply labels. The second is Dante Virtual Sound Card, which turns your computer into a Dante audio device on the network. It allows you to record and play back up to 64 channels of audio from software of your choosing over the Dante network. Note that this software works with all Dante devices from all of our manufacturer partners. We'll start with Dante Controller. The Dante Controller interface is the same on both Windows and Mac OS X versions. At launch, it always shows all the Dante devices on the network automatically. You don't need to configure the devices for this to happen. Dante Controller always opens in the routing view in order to route signals on the Dante network. Access to the other views is done with the tab bar at the top. Here we see device status, which allows us to see detailed information about each Dante device, clock status, which allows us to see and adjust clock settings for the Dante network, and events, log of changes, and warnings. Let's start with the routing function of Dante Controller. When opened, Dante Controller always presents a network grid view that displays all the Dante devices found on the network. If you click the plus sign by any device to expand it, it will reveal all the channels on that device. Transmitting channels are shown along the top axis, these are your outputs, and receiving channels or inputs are shown along the side axis. Routing signals with Dante is incredibly easy. We click the plus sign by each device to expand and reveal channels for either transmission or receiving. We then locate the intersection of the two channels we wish to connect and note that we have guides to help you accurately select that, then just click at the intersection to create a connection. A green check mark means that the connection is made and audio begins to flow immediately. And if you place your mouse over any connection, a tooltip appears showing you additional information about that connection. Splits. Unlike many systems, creating splits is so easy with Dante, and it's done in the Dante controller. Simply send the transmitter channel that you wish to use to as many receivers as you wish, and you're done. You can do this for many, many channels of audio and many devices. The Device Status tab is really for information only, mainly when checking to see that a system is set up properly. In this tab, you can see your device names, Dante types, firmware versions, IP addresses for both primary and secondary links, and the speed of each link, such as 100 megabits per second or gigabit. The Clock Status tab shows you the current state of clocking in the Dante network and allows you to set some preferences. Dante is a self-clocking system. Left to their own, Dante devices will elect a clock master from the pool. However, you may wish to designate a device as a preferred master in order to ensure consistency. This device should be one that's readily available on the network in contrast to devices that may come and go for different setups. This guarantees that clocking will remain consistent even as devices are connected and disconnected. In many instances, there's no need to slave the Dante network to the internal clocks of consoles and DSPs and so forth. This is because Dante itself uses a clock scheme that is independent of audio sample rates. However, when one is coordinating multiple digital I.O. devices of different types, 
It's often a good idea to use the internal clock of a mixer or other device as a clock source. To do this for a given Dante card that's installed into in a device from which you wish to clock, select the checkbox Slave to External Word Clock on the right. If such a clock is available, Dante will use it. This Dante device will then automatically become the clock master. Note that we strongly recommend that only one Dante device be configured in this way to avoid conflicts with other unknown internal clocks. The Event tab is where you can see a list of Dante controller activities. And there are three types, Information, Warnings, and Errors, which are relatively self-explanatory. Most messages do not affect operation and are purely informational. Information and warnings generally do not result in the loss of any audio or control, but they're there to help you troubleshoot. The Dante controller allows you to go deeper into individual devices in order to make advanced configuration changes. To access the device view, double-click the Dante device you wish to configure from any of the regular tab views in Dante controller, routing, device status, or clock status. A separate window now appears with multiple tabs and it allows you to apply labels to channels, change the name of your Dante device, create multicast flows, and set receiving latency. Earlier we showed how easy it is to create splits with Dante. For small numbers of split channels, simply clicking is all you need to do. But doing it this way means that each channel is being duplicated on the network for each receiver, and that becomes inefficient after too many channels are used. We can address that by pooling these channels together in a multicast flow, in the, and this comes right out of the device view. This is in within the device view of the Dante device that's acting as a transmitter. Double click the device name to get the device view, then select the Create Multicast Flow button in the toolbar. You then select the channels you wish to join the flow, up to eight of them, and click Create. You can now see the multicast flows you've created in the Transmit tab of the device view for that Dante device. Note that this does not alter the routes you've selected at all. It merely changes the mode of transport to multicast now what multicast does that's different from unicast is it sends out one set of packets that go to all the receiving devices as opposed to separate streams for each receiving device. In the receive tab of the device view you can select any channel and apply a name. This helps you and others to know what's being routed on your Dante network. You can also route signals here if you wish it works just the same as in the routing view. Here I'm just typing in a name. And there it is. And likewise, I can grab channels that I want to have connected to that name and just drag them over. I've now made a connection just as I would do in my routing view and audio begins to flow immediately. The Transmit tab of the device view also allows you to label channels as well as to see what multicast flows are assigned to this device. You may delete these flows from this view, allowing you to create new flows or to switch over to unicast as you might please. Note, when you change from multicast to unicast, it does not change the routing, although it will result in a few seconds of silence as the network readjusts itself. And finally, the Config tab permits you to change the name of the Dante device, change the sample rate if it's supported in that device, and to change the receiving latency. A word about latency. Dante networks are deterministic. That is, the time at which all devices play out a sample is known and identical to within one microsecond. In order to accomplish this, all Dante devices must agree upon a time to play out, as they may be receiving packets from the network at slightly different times. This latency setting sets that time. The default value is one millisecond, which is inaudibly small and sufficient to work easily with up to 10 switch hops on a gigabit network. That's a very large network. This value is far lower than older digital transports. 
In small networks, you can go as 150 microseconds of latency. Please continue to Part 6 to learn about Dante Software and AVB, or Audio Video Bridging.